Okay, question eight, part one asks us to um, show that the x coordinate of q here is is two, and it's it's suggesting that we differentiate to find it. So they've given us the curve, this crazy curve here, which is y equals x to the eight e to the minus x squared. So in order to differentiate this, we're going to need to use the the product rule and the quotient rule as well when we come to differentiate the e to the minus x squared. So using the product rule, which is to differentiate the first term, which is 8x to the 7, and leave the second term alone, plus differentiate the second term and leave the first term alone. So x to the 8 gets left alone, and then we times by the differential of e to the minus x squared. When we differentiate e to the minus x squared, we're going to get e to the minus x squared, but we're also going to need to times by the differential of the power and the differential of the power is minus 2x. So if we put all that together, we've got 8x to the 7 e to the minus x squared minus 2x to the 9 e to the minus x squared. Now you'll notice that lots of this can be factorised out. So I'm going to take out a factor of 2 x to the 7 and the e to the minus x squared, which will leave us with 4, just 4 here, take away x squared. That's our dy by dx. Now, we are asked to find out the coordinates of q, and you can see that q is, is a stationary point. So when dy by dx equals 0, that's going to help us find out what q is. We're going to um, have 2x to the 7 plus e to the minus x squared times by 4 minus x squared is equal to 0. And when we've got, we've got a product here, we've got two things being timed together to give us 0. So either this is 0, 2x to the 7 e to the minus x squared equals 0 or 4 minus x squared equals 0. Now if we attempt to solve this, this also is a product, so either this is 0 or this is 0. e to the minus x squared is never 0. So the only solution to this is when x equals 0. But unfortunately that's not the coordinate that we're after. That would give us this coordinate here. It's asked us to show that, that q's It's asked us to show that q's coordinates are two for the x. The x coordinate is two. So even though that does generate us a stationary point, it's not the one we're after. So let's go ahead and try and solve this. We're going to have four equals x squared, and so x is either two or minus two. So if we go back to the graph, we can see that q is positive. So q must be the positive two. Uh, for the x coordinate, not the minus 2, which will be p's coordinate. 